for a long time, talking about mental health felt like it was off the table for a lot of people. But in recent years, especially since the pandemic, that's been changing. Groups like the National Alliance on Mental Illness in Maine say more people are reaching out for help. It's a positive development in the fight to end stigma, but there is still a shortage of people available to provide that help. New Star Maine's Chloe Thibault joins us now with more. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Zach and Chris. Yeah, this has been a problem for a few years, but now one woman in Kennebunk is trying to help. A couple of months ago, a new Shanson, a licensed professional counselor, launched her new website, the Maine Therapist Directory. She says her goal is to connect local people more easily with local therapists and support others along the way. So this is the home page. A new Shanson of Kenny Bunk says she never really expected to be an entrepreneur. We're hoping this reaches put, um, clients in all areas of the state. To but she's them. learning she just might have that energy. Sometimes you think of these ideas and you think it's a great idea, but you don't know until you put it out there and there's just this immediate response. An immediate response in just a couple of months to this, the main therapist directory. I just wanted to create something that is a really welcoming space that looks like Maine and feels like Maine. Hansen says most therapists advertise their practice in some capacity, but they often have to turn to national or international directories, which can be hard to navigate. She says her goal is to provide a more affordable option. But also have a dollar from every monthly subscription go to a nonprofit that is supporting the mental health and well-being of Mainers. Brenna O'Sullivan is one of the therapists who will be paying that monthly subscription and says she hopes it will help connect her to the right clients. Therapeutic report research shows that it's the most important factor in um, you know, getting the results you're looking for from therapy. And if you don't have a connection with that individual and you don't trust them and you're not open and honest with them, that can create barriers and it cannot be impactful. Hannah Longley with the National Alliance on Mental Illness in Maine says it's currently hard to even find a therapist in general. She says pre-pandemic, about one in four Mainers was seeking treatment for mental health care. Now, since COVID-19 and the increase of the uh, connection, the, in, the decrease of stigma, we can assume that the numbers have um, definitely increased of individuals who are seeking out treatment. Now, Hansen says so far about 50 therapists have signed up on her website and clients are also using it. She says the first recipient of her donation will likely be NAMI Maine. You can learn more at mainetherapistdirectory.com. Zach and Chris, back to you. All right, Chloe, thanks so much.